They'll have to start without you. Frisco and I could use some supplies. I'll head your way now. See anything you need? Let me see what you got. Use it. Frisco Field. They need some new wheels. Aye, I'll get her out to you right away. We got anyone to call off the cops in Frisco Fields? Right away. Is that a hot way that's just like you ordered? Appreciate it.
trade some. In this spot, where my great 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 grandfather joined his brothers in the defense of Louisiana against northern aggression. Now he died in this spot to protect the virtues and the values of his people. He gave his life to uphold the liberty of his state and to hold back the ascension of the mongrel tide. But it's from that tide. Is out there right this very minute, slitting the throats of white men and women right now. I know what some of y'all are thinking. Yeah. Fuck this city, yeah. Remy. Fuck the dealers and the pushers. Get run the question. Frisco Field. <laughs> Frisco Fields as one of the city's most prominent citizens, Remy Duval, was savagely murdered. Witnesses report he was bound to a cross and set on fire. Let's see if we can get a statement from the police. Chief Wilson, you care to make a comment? It's those goddamn niggles. Every last one of them needs to be rounded up and shot. That's quite a statement, Chief. You need to wipe the shit out of your eyes, son. Take a look around. There's a goddamn war going on! I'm in Frisco and I could use some supplies. Going at you. Hang tight. You for making me call the cops.
Let me see what you got. I'll be. This is done. You know how to find me. I'm in Frisco Fields and need some new wheels. On it, lad. Just getting there warmed up. Car is promised. Appreciate it. I don't know if some of y'all was expecting women, but he ain't here. And he said report that Mr. Dubai, the host of the CL program, has passed away. His friend, Ms. Marcona, wanted to come on and say something, but she wasn't up to it. So she asked me to say a few words for her. She says, Dear Blue Bordeaux, we have lost one of our favorite sons, a leader in the community, a beloved broadcaster, and my friend. Remy was a religious man, and I'm sure he would appreciate it if you kept him in your prayers. Oh, the hell with that. Remy was murdered, folks. And some of you may have heard what happened on the news, and I don't want to get into the particulars of it on account of it being an ongoing investigation. But we're going to find out who did it, New Bordeaux. And I'll tell you this much, God help him when I do. Mm -hmm. We look out for our own in New Bordeaux. And if any that thinks that the murder of a... Olivia's at the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. Step into my office. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Marcano's having real estate problems. I still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line, I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Stephen is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. <laughs> Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. 
What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there and dose the guards with his military-grade LSD and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. You've got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. Mm. If they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you. Got here on time. Them crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga. That's they job. Had me out there. Fucking asked me where I got my car. Where I'm from. You best get in that uniform or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Look like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words for old Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face of God's earth. Get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? If y'all get them folks their drinks now, Right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Drink up, motherfucker. So, do they have a suspect? Now, a one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. First, I'd like to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town but you did what remy would have done you held your head high and you didn't run away it's not exaggerating to say that remy was a brave man but his bravery is not what i'll miss most about him what I'll miss most about Remy Duvall is that he gave this city, no, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that, Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. 
a dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city, by preserving the way of life we hold dear to Remy. Charge card to the market. Hey, when I get stuck behind some, some wine. See what you mean. We find this shine who killed Remy. He's gonna wish he was dead. Get Remy, over here with that bottle, man. Your voice down. What? Oh, it's he's right. probably one of the. He's good resting ones. with Jesus now. She says I don't talk. Like I can get a word in edgewise. Whatever you say. It's gonna be They're taking charge yeah. cards. Now, Remy and I get stuck behind so many of you here on account. I've never actually seen the nephew either. Hey, I had us some money. Bring that bottle over here. Maybe. Spill it. What do you know? Well, let's just say there was a lot more to the Duval fortune when his daddy died. The fight? Nah, I didn't see it. I want to watch two coons mix it up. I can do that any time in the hall. you being here on his okay. account. I mean, every last goddamn dime Boy. is gone. Yeah, you. Jesus. The what am I going to tell the auto brothers? We'll remind them to maintain white pride, brother. My condolences. Right now, it's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. Jesus. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks. Don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. into those folks something bad i don't care what clarence says i'm staying in here those people have gone crazy finna cut that crap what was i saying now i just <laughs> i wish i could show you <laughs> it's all connected <laughs> you see we you <laughs> me him coming for us we're all connected coming for you barbara Oh, good! <laughs> See you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> wow! Yeah, Goddamn daughter, I guess. These people are out of their minds. I see Remy. No, wait. Oh, I am Remy. He's possessed. 
Trust me. Something is wrong. Get me out of here now. Yes, ma'am. I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say-so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them. They've all come down with some kind of... <laughs> For Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. On the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands. See if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for you to take a walk. You stupid or what? Take him down! Garmo. Ah, Garmo. Ah, they have me out in a building. Down by the wall. Ah. Thought you were going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. <laughs> 